Hey guys, what is up? Today I am heading off to Algonquin. I'm going backpacking with my friend Vic. She was in the last vlog, I believe, so she's coming with me and we are going backcountry camping on the Highland Trail for three days, two nights. We're gonna go all through the provoking um, trail, like provoking west and provoking east. Tonight we're staying at Provoking East, and then tomorrow night we're doing Provoking West. So yeah, I'm just about to go get her, and we'll see you soon. Okay, I stopped at Tim's. I wasn't going to, but I really wanted a sandwich, so I got a sandwich. Oh, I also forgot to say I have Winnie, of course. I would not come without her. And then I got her a Timbit. So yeah, I guess I'll give that to her now. She's so excited, Winnie. the Highland Backpacking Trail. I'll show you the map. We have Winnie with her pack on. So this is the map, we just made it. And so we are right here and we have to go all the way to Provoking East, which is like around this area. And then on day two, we'll come around and do Provoking West and then back home. So yeah, that's what we're doing. There's Vic. We're taking a short break. Winnie's getting some water. Is that good? Fix over there. And yeah. So we just reapplied our bug spray because it's kind of raining. So it's like washing off. We can't really see the path anymore. You just kind of have to guess where it is. Okay, so we just came out of the bush right there, which is really random because we came to this like, Winnie, we came to this open trail and we were really confused because that sign says exit and we just came out of that random bush area this says the highland backpacking trail first loop which is provoking so we're on the right track and there's blue signs up there winnie is so tired and so wet because it did rain a bit and she's trying to get the horse flies even though i have this bug bandana on her but yeah we just did like 
this huge rock, like steep rock hill, but we're still going. Okay, so I think that we're coming up to the loop. So we want to go east. And then we're going to be coming back this way whenever we go west for our second night. There it is. So we're going to go that way. And then we'll do the big loop tomorrow. Stay at the west and then come back this way on the third day. So yeah, this is what the map looks like. So we started at this red dot. We did all here and now we're right here. And then we have to go down to this, these campsites here. Okay, so we made it to our campsite at Provoking East. And this is what it looks like. We could see some people over here. I think we're probably gonna set up our tent right where Winnie's laying. Sleeping bags. Okay, so we just blew up our little sleeping pads and we have all of our gear in the tent because it's pouring rain and he's sitting outside the tent. Um, and we're probably gonna make some food. Normally we split one of these from Cabela's. It's like freeze dried, whatever. This one's three cheese chicken pasta. So I'm gonna have this all by myself, and then it's literally raining. And then Vic's gonna have the pasta Roma to herself, and then we're gonna each have a hot chocolate. So yeah, we have that, and I got this from Cabela's. It's like a spoon and a fork. Just chilling, waiting for the rain to pass. Okay, so the sun has come out. There's Winnie. She is drenched. We have the tent. Our walk took like two hours and 20 minutes and our lookout is so beautiful. We're gonna attempt to jump in later. Sun came out, it's just really windy, but the rain stopped, so yeah. We're going down to get water for our pot to make some supper, early supper. I think it's only like three something. Provoking East. Boil in the water. Okay, so our food is done. Vic has the pasta Roma or whatever. I feel like I'm saying that wrong. And I have three cheese chicken pasta. Yeah, we normally split these, but we're way too hungry. And we also made some delicious hot chocolate. So we're just exploring our little island. We see people out there. So let's explore. Okay, we're looking for like that little box that's the toilet. And we came across this sign, which is different than the one at Faya Lake. So I assume that it's the same. 
Do you see anything? Following the trail. Oh, there it is. <laughs> There's the toilet. This is a nice little spot right across from the... Okay, so now we're gonna go swimming and we're gonna try and go to an island that's out there. There's Winnie looking at us, patiently waiting. But we're gonna try and go to an island. I just put on my bathing suit. Woo! Okay, we just got back from swimming. We took these floaties out. Vic is, is hanging on this line that we have. Um, but we took floaties out and swam out to an island. Let me show you it. It was so far and Winnie was on mine. So I was like, just basically fully in the water. It did not hold the both of us well at all. But let me show you the island that we went to. And there's a bunch of campsites around this little island and everybody was looking at us. There it is. There's like a campsite right there with people. And that's what we swam to on our floaties. There's so many rocks. And yeah, we literally just took those gimpy little dollar store floaties up. I'm pretty sure Vix has popped. And uh, went. And somehow Winnie sat on mine with me. So that's great. Now we are probably going to attempt to make a fire, even though it rained all day and all the wood is wet. Um, and then we're gonna hang the food up. So I'll make sure to film that. Give me that. Give me it, give me it. Got a fire. Sucks that it's so windy out here and the wood's all wet, but oh well. Okay. I'm trying to throw up the food bag rope. Oh. Okay, ready? Oh, it just. All right, pulling it up. Semi-high. There it is, now we're gonna have to tie it. Got it tied. It's not that high up, but it's still high enough. <laughs> Okay, so we're all ready for bed now. It was a very good day. Winnie's beside me, but you probably cannot see her right here. So I'll see you in the morning. Okay, so we just woke up. It's the next morning. Winnie just went crazy and licked us to death, but our sleep was good. It was super cold. Oh my God, I was so cold this morning. At like 6.30, we woke up. Okay, so we're making oatmeal for breakfast and hot chocolate. Vic got her very dry oatmeal over there. And then hot chocolate's on the way for her. All right, so we just packed up all of our bags and now we're about to pack up the tent because now we're going to Provoking West for one more night. Yeah, this campsite overall was really, really good. Definitely recommend Provoking East. If you want to see Provoking West, our trip there, I'm about to make a part two. So thank you for watching. Subscribe and like and help out my small channel. So we'll see you later.